everyone, in today's video we'll talk about lambda filter in Python. Usually in data manipulation, there are certainly some tasks that we do again and again, for instance retrieving a subset of data based on specific conditions. So it's useful to learn how to skillfully do this at various levels of complexity. So today i like to introduce the lambda filter function which allows you to perform an operation and filter based on the results. Let's solve an interview question together so you get a sense of when and how you can apply this. But before we do that, if you want to learn more about data science, hit the subscribe button. Today's interview question is a medium level Python problem from Amazon entitled three purchases. If you want to follow along with us, click on the link in the description box below. So our task is to list the ID of customers who made at least three orders in both 2020 and 2021. We've been given a table containing a list of orders. So it specifies the ID column, which we'll assume represents the order ID and also functions as the primary key of the table and the ID of the user who made the order, uh, the date and time when the order was placed and the total value of the order. So let's preview the table. So as you can see, it's only a, an orders table, but we can expect several orders for a given user ID. For example, user 201 has made several orders, uh, one in 2020, another in 2021 and 2019 and so on. So what we want to know is how many orders each user placed per year so that we can then identify which customers placed at least three orders in both 2020 and 2021. But before we start coding the solution, let's recall that the order date column does not only give us the year of information, but also the full date and timestamp as well. Let's take a look over here. So first we need to extract the year information from this column. Thankfully, it's already in date time format, which means that we can easily access any of its properties like the year, uh, using the pandas uh, function dot dt dot year function. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's first import the pandas library because without that we cannot use the functions. We're going to import pandas as pd. Then we will create a new column called year, which will contain the year of the order date column. So we take the uh, table name that's amazon dot underscore orders and that is how we extract the date component so let's run that as you can see here are all the date parts of the order date column now we can analyze the data set by the user id and the year of order for each user id and year combination we would like to determine the number of orders which will just be the number of rows under each group, also assuming that there are no duplicate orders. Then we will want to retrieve only the groups where there are more than three orders. So if we sort the uh, data by user ID and year, let's do that. So here we have the sorted values and here we can see that user 201 has not had uh, more than three orders in 2020 or in 2021. So we are not interested in this user. However, we would like to retain user 202, which has had three orders placed in 2021. So without knowing about the Lambda filter function, it will probably take a few steps to reach the solution. However, with the Lambda filter function, we can do this in only one line. So before I show you, first, let's briefly talk about the Lambda function. Lambdas are functions without names, which is why they're usually referred to as anonymous functions. And like any usual function, it will take one or more arguments and return a value based on the expression provided. This is particularly helpful when performing a customized and simple operation that you won't need again. Lambdas allow you to initialize and use a function immediately without having to define them separately. So let's go back to the problem and we would like to group the data by user ID and order year. All right, 
let's run that and you see uh we've grouped them all and then we'll count the number of rows in each of these groups we can do this by defining a lambda function which will take in an input which in this case are the columns id order date and order total and then it will return the length of these columns so let's do that and by just attaching uh, the aggregate function and using lambda so here we have the results for that aside from the aggregation the lambda function can be used together with other higher order functions like filter and apply so the filter function takes in two inputs a function which returns true or false and an iterable such as a list a tuple string or any other sequence which can be iterated over in for loop. So what it does is it will loop through each element of the iterable, pass this as an input to the function you specified, and if it returns true, the element is retained, otherwise it's removed. So revising our query slightly, our lambda expression needs to return true where the number of orders is three or more. So let's instead of aggregate, we'll use filter. And over here, we'll make sure that it's greater than or equal to three. So now if we run the code again, we can see the following table. So when used with our group by object over here, the filter looks at each user ID and your group and checks if the number of rows are at least three. And if they are, it returns that group. So we end up with a subset of the original table, which contains the orders of customers in the year that are ordered three or more times. Now, this will allow us to identify a subset of customers we want. What we want, if you recall, is the information of not all years, but just 2020 and 2021. So we will have duplicate customer IDs because this data frame is just a list of orders. So let's use the set method to obtain a list of unique customers having three or more orders in 2020. But before that, let's name this result table orders per year. So we can write the set method. Okay, let me actually first run this and show you. So there are three customer sets and for 2021, Let's just replace it with 2021. Again, there are three. Um, the only difference was 206 instead of 202. And now we probably have some customers that order at least three times in 2020, but not in 2021 and vice versa. So what we actually want are the customers who ordered at least three times in both 2020 and 2021, not either or. So in other words, we want the user IDs that are common in both these sets so we can identify this using the set intersection method. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now let's run it and here we go. U205 and 203 are the common users that have ordered more than thrice in both 2020 and 2021. And finally, before submitting our solution, we need to reformat this by converting it into Pandas data frame and renaming the column as user ID. So let's go ahead and do that and call it result table. Let's run the code. And there you have it. We've successfully applied the Lambda filter of combination to solve our problem. Thanks for joining me in solving this question. I hope you learned something new. If you'd like to improve your coding skills further, head on to the technical guide section of Stratascratch platform which I leave the link down below. You'll find various articles explaining common and advanced Python concepts to help you succeed in your future job. Until then, see you in the next video.